Hey everyone, hope you're well. There's an article that's come out today that should be deeply concerning for anyone who's involved in activism or protest indeed on any level. Let's take a look at the Guardian from the Gar Guardian. Fears over the right to protest after woman with sign at climate trial prosecuted. We didn't report on this as it happened uh, when she was arrested. That was back in March. So this is Trudy Warner, 68, has been prosecuted for contempt of court after protesting outside a court in London. And civil liberty campaigners have warned that the prosecution for holding up a placard about the rights of jurors outside the court is part of the government's increasing attacks on the right to protest. This isn't the actual sign that she was holding up at the time in this picture. I'm going to show you that in a second. I just want to take another quick quote from this article. So Liberty said the decision to prosecute Trudy Warner uh, was concerning and you can see this quote here, Grant said this decision is concerning especially when seen in the wider context of increasing attacks on our right to protest. We all have the right to make our voices heard on issues that matter to us but this government has continually narrowed our options for standing up to what we believe in. As well as limits on how we can protest, we're also seeing the erosion of available defences for protesters, which has led to a situation where juries are the last line of defence for people facing impri imprisonment for protesting. Uh, that's absolutely true. It's very concerning. We've done a full-length episode about the Public Order Bill, which has been part of this ongoing move against uh, protest and against even people holding signs as we've seen in this case it's it's ridiculous it's hard to come to uh, it's hard to find the words to express how draconian this is um, it's the 21st century these shouldn't be the times that we're living in where protesters can be prosecuted arrested and prosecuted merely for holding up a sign outside Parliament. The article also mentions cases of contempt, which we've talked about before on the show. If you want to check out our video with David Nixon, our friend David, that's a great interview. He was found in contempt of court just for mentioning climate change uh, in his trial, which a lot of people who've been arrested for taking action have been prohibited for doing, especially cases that go to uh, the Crown Court and a lot of cases under uh, the judgment of a certain judge, Silas Reed, as well. I suggest that you check those out. I'm going to put links to those two episodes in the description for this. Just a quick look at the actual sign that Trudy was holding up. She's a lovely lady, Trudy, by the way. I've met her. Uh, this is the actual sign that she was holding up. Now, this is almost the most insulting part about this prosecution. The words on the sign that Trudy was holding up are actually on a, an, an old sign in the Old Bailey, and it refers to a case in 1670 where the judge uh, instructed the jurors to find the defendant guilty, and they refused. So the sign says, jurors, you have an absolute right to acquit a defendant according to your conscience. And that is absolutely true. That is absolutely true, without a doubt, to the extent that it is on a sign in the Old Bailey. And now Trudy has been prosecuted simply for quoting a sign that is up in a court in the, U in the UK. What kind of a world are we living in? where people can be prosecuted for this. And you can see in the picture there, just stop oil and insulate Britain. I dare say members of XR and other groups were there on the day as well. You don't necessarily have to agree with what they're protesting against, as we've said so many times before on the show, with the public order bill and these kinds of prosecutions, whatever it is that you choose to protest against. If the establishment don't like it, if the government don't like it, then they can throw these draconian laws at you they can use this legislation to shut down anybody's protest it could be nurses on strike it could be teachers on strike it could be workers on strike it doesn't matter what sector 
you're from, what part of society you're from, things like the Public Order Bill affect your right to protest. So in case that article had passed you by, just wanted to point that out to you. I'm going to put links in the original, uh, in the description for the original Guardian article. Also those episodes featuring David Nixon, as I mentioned, and our special on the Public Order Bill. A lot of people were there for the demonstration on the Public Order Bill. I just want to say before I leave, that was a fantastic day. We had members from loads of environmental groups, Just Stop Oil XR, Insulate Britain, also Republic with a Stand Up to Racism, Black Lives Matter. So many groups coming together. So many groups going to be affected by this bill. Also the Roman Gypsy uh, Travellers League with her as well. They made a historic first on that day. I won't give any spoilers because I want you to watch the video for it, but please do check out uh, that extra content as well. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. And once more, just a reminder that we all have to stand up for our right to protest in this country and we should continue to do so. Thank you very much for listening. Good night.